Hi, uh, I'm Tarek Youssef and will be presenting to you today the safety and efficiency of the intracorneal and intracameral uh, fourth generation quinolones for endophthalmitis prophylaxis and cataract surgery. Uh, the study was uh, done, we know that the endophthalmitis uh, is the uh, most severe complication of cataract surgery. It's increased after we switched to the clear cornea incisions. It happens in a one, one in a thousand approximately and the EACRS was one in 400 which is pretty high. The risk increased 40 times when there is wound leakage, 17 times with these vitreous complications, and if the antibiotic drops are not started the, the first day, it's 13 times, and it's uh, if it's low penetration antibiotics, it's five times. So in this study, we have uh, uh, 4,640 uh, 4, cataracts with rectal lens. Uh, one third was no injections, uh, two thirds are with injections. And we had zero cases in the group that did not have uh, did not did have the injections. That's my procedure. We use xylitine gel mix, and we do the 2.85 knife incision, followed by Vitrex injection, paracentesis, and then capsule rexis, hydrosection, hydrodilation, and nuclear rotation, followed by phaco emulsification to remove the the nucleus. It's a pretty routine cataract surgery as uh, usual. Uh, there's no much difference so far, but we use the gel at the beginning and with this careful attention of the wound construction, which is really important. Uh, the J cannula I use in all cases which decrease the vitreous complication and decrease, decrease the incidence of endophthalmitis uh, because it decreased the vitreous complications significantly. It cleans up the capsule completely just by irrigating the fluid and removing the, the uh, remaining cortical material without IA at this stage. Helon is injected, then we implant the lens. Here it's a ZA9003, that's Technus uh, wavefront guided lens, and it's implanted carefully, followed by IA. Now we can do the IA safely with the protection of the intraocular lens, protecting the caps or removing any helon. Now we will use the Avalox. I'll slow the video a little bit. We just hydrate the sides of the main incision, and the, main, and the rest of the wound will swell and that will allow some fluid to go in and escort inside and outside the, cor the, the, the eye, the Avalox. Avalox is ready-made, it's made from Bayer, and we do not refrigerate that because it precipitates. And it's a very strong uh, fourth generation quinolone. It's, uh, that's uh, how it comes, it comes with uh, the uh, aluminum, that's how we prepare it. We take, for the day, we take the amount in a 20 cc syringe, uh, we uh, take all the uh, uh, that what we need for the day. This bag can be used okay. for multiple rooms. Okay. Yeah. So if you have multiple okay. ORs that can be used, then we, in each case we transfer from the 20 cc syringe into a tuberculin syringe to be used at the end of this case. That's how we use it. Again, it's, uh, we hydrate the sides of the wounds and the main incision and the paracentesis and if you do any other incisions and we inject inside and inject sometimes in the bag and for any case we have vitreous or inject in almost through the the opening and again another case the same we hydrate the wound it allows the wound to swell and close very well for few days after the surgery and it stays there for a few days. Uh, there's no animal study to see how long does it actually stay in there, but you can see this, the wound swelling in the first day and the second day. Uh, and again, another case, the same thing. And it's really safe. You're already going to hydrate the wounds anyway, but instead of using BSS to hydrate the wounds, you can hydrate it using the Avalox or Tequin. But Avalox is, is ready-made. You don't need to dilute it. It's already ready for you. There's no dilution and, and it's just take it straight. So Avalox or moxifloxacin is uh, bactericidal, so it, it seals the wound very well. That's the difference between my, my surgery and other surgeries. Uh, again, this is the, I use the gel. It has all the mix of the drops in it and it's keep it on the eye for the rest of the surgery. I use the J cannula on a routine basis for all cases which decrease the vitreous complications to almost non-existing at this stage. So there's no IA at this stage that would uh, capture the capsule. Uh, and it effectively cleans uh, the cells from the bag without having the, the fear of capturing the capsule and resulting in a vitreous loss, which uh, 17 times the, the endophthalmitis rate. Uh, this is the IA. Now I do the IA with the intraocular lens inside the eye 
uh, to protect the capsule and I'll hydrate the wound at the end. So uh, to sum up, uh, then uh, to sum up, it's uh, the vial of Avalox will cost you fifty dollars, enough for two hundred fifty patients for the day. But I usually throw it at the end of the day. One dollar for tuberculosis syringe, but preventing endophthalmitis and sleeping very well at night, knowing that you did your best, is actually priceless. Priceless. So uh, please use it. It's already there, ready for you to be used. Uh, the, you don't have to do anything. Thank you very much for your attention.